What's up dudes and dudettes, all you awesome people. Welcome to the Geeky Heathen channel. I am Glenn, aka the Geeky Heathen, here with a different video to my channel. I have been collecting Funko Pops for a while. Um, I've been officially collecting Funko Pops, like actually seeking them out, looking for them for just over a year now. I think it's like a year and a month. I finally got hold of my Grail Pop video in, there's probably a pop up here, putting link in the description down below. Finally got hold of my Grail Pop, which was my Hoggle Pop. Now I want to protect my Labyrinth Pops specifically. I want to protect my Pops. So I have purchased some Funko Pop protectors. I went to All Things Vinyl and well, they sent me a big envelope. Uh, I'm excited to test these out, see what they're like. I thought I'd do it on camera as well. Get all of these Labyrinth Pops out, show them all off, but I put them in these pop protectors and see what they're like. I'm just gonna tear into the bottom of this envelope. Actually, yeah, I don't know the best way of getting into it, so. Ooh, oh, what is this? Oh, 5% off all orders. Oh, lovely. Just everything in one big vacuum pack seal pack. Oh, that's interesting. Because I, I ordered 10 protectors, because I had a sale on. I ordered 10 protectors and one big one for the hot Ludo pop. How do I get into this? I don't have any scissors. I have to uh, pull out the old dragon sword. <laughs> I got here I've got a little oh that's nice so a little ATV orange it's one of these little cleaning cloths it's a little cleaning cloth little sticker the all things vinyl Funko Pop looking dude and then I've got just please fold edges carefully when building the cases okay Ah, I can see one is different to the others, so that looks like that's the 10. It look like 10. Maybe it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't know why I need to give you guys a counting lesson then. Ten of the smaller ones, so six inch pops. I think I hope that's the right size. Yeah, it looks like the right size. I was really confused with sizes. Dave wrote on all. <laughs> No, not all of them, on, on, one, on one of the top ones. I said they have wrote a little sticker on there with my name, uh, my surname, and, and four inch grails, 10 out of 10 of them, and six inch. Yeah, so that's what's confusing me. They, these are called four inches, they are. And these are called six inches for, for Ludo. It looks very, very tight. But this is what it looks like. Shall I do Ludo first? No, let's do the other ones first of all. I'll put Ludo's pop protector there. So, if I take off that little sticker of mine, these have a little peely. Well, that's really satisfying. Uh, maybe I should pop it together first of all. These, um. peel off they clip together I suppose just push the edges and they're supposed to clip Ugh. they do kind of a little push to help them these are the stronger ones I went for some of the stronger ones some of the big bigger ones because I wanted a better ones that looks very very wonky maybe once I got the pop in there so if I put Sarah Worm down there, if I start off with Glitter Ball Jareth, put him in here, uh, he'll be facing that way, yep. Oh, wow. Close the sides, close the top, fold that top bit. Concentrate, really, really concentrate. So 
a little bit that goes in there as well. And that clips in. Wow. I really like that. So that is him in a case. So there, for example, is Jareth out of the case. This is normal Jareth. There he is in his protective case. Ooh, I really like that. So what I'll do is I'll flash, I'll do like a really fast take. I'll fast forward as I put them all in there. I like to feel them in them prop projectors. <laughs> I'll fast forward whilst I put the rest of them in there, these ones, and then we shall uh, have a look at Ludo and his big one as well. So I have some left over as you see, um, but that's fine because I've got quite a lot of other pops which are more expensive pops and exclusives, so I will use them for that. But now, for the six inch, this is the more interesting one for me because this looks like it's gonna be a very tight fit, but we shall see Ooh, what this is like. Absolute perfect fit. I am so happy. This is definitely a collection that I've been so happy to collect over the years. And it all started off when I found this guy here in a charity shop. That's what started off my Funko Pop hunting. So there we have it. Jareth, the Grail himself, Hoggle. Sarah and Worm. The Glitter Ball Jareth. And Ludo, the entire set, all in ATV pop protectors. I absolutely love these pop protectors. There's something very, very therapeutic for peeling the uh, cellophane plastic cover off a little bit afterwards. But anyone else tried ATV or any other pop protector places? Uh, I know one YouTuber who's used uh, PP Joe and doesn't get on with them. Um, so I thought I'll try out ATV, see what they're like. They seem really good. I went for the, the thicker prop protectors rather than the thinner ones, so they're a bit more expensive, but they did have a sale on, and I got 10 of these for £10. And then I think a couple of pounds for the, other, for the big one. Absolute bargain. I had to go for that. I just couldn't resist it. Uh, it's really strange though that I've got, I like the cloth, that I've got just one little sticker. You'd think they'd come with a sticker for every box if you want to put a sticker on there or something. That's a bit strange, but I'm not interested in putting the stickers on them anyway. I just want to get them protected so I can keep them safe in my collection. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below, be it on Labyrinth or Pop Protectors or All Things Vinyl. Let me know what you think. Don't forget all that YouTube stuff. Comment, like, share, subscribe. And if you want to help support my channel, you can always go over and check out my Patreon page. Link in the description down below. You can become a Patreon from as little as $1 a month, which gains you access to Patreon-only videos. All my videos early access, because I try, I try to get them up on, I try to film them and get them up like a week before I put them on YouTube. And also monthly Patreon giveaways. But I'm Geeky Heathen, as always. Much love, and until next time, stay awesome.